everyone, it's Annabelle. Welcome back to my channel. We have a surprise parcel from Gemma. Andre from Gemma contacted me at the beginning of the week saying that they had a new LED light product. Would I be interested in testing it out? So I agreed, of course, because I would love to. They sent me some details through. I will link you down below, but so far I can tell you that they have developed a light bulb type grow light product that will screw into E27 G you something, put that up on screen, or E14 um, sockets. So this will fit into my standard work lamp type setting. So I figured that this would be perfect to replace my phalaenopsis type setup along the top that I have, which I will kind of show you. So at the moment my phalaenopsis orchids are all along the top shelves with Ikea Tertial work lamps, which have an E27 fitting um, with a I think 1400 lumen Amazon LED basics bulb. Now lumen measures green wavelength light as well as the other wavelengths, so it's not an ideal measure for plant lights. A better measure is PAR, which is photosynthetically available radiation. So PAR values are kind of the best way to go, but I don't have any kind of measurement for um, PAR values for these. These are just um, measured in lumens. They're cool spectrum, so they kind of have more of the blue wavelength light, which is kind of needed for uh, different types of chlorophyll, and red wavelength light is needed for another type of chlorophyll. So the main kind of components of plant light that are useful for plants are red and blue wavelength light. Green wavelength light makes it nicer for us to view the plants, and a full spectrum wavelength means that the plants are getting optimal amounts of the blue and red lights that they need for growth and flowering um, but also that we get a nice kind of white daylight type finish to the lighting and that also things like carotenoids which are excited by from slightly different wavelength pigments and um, anthocyanins which are excited by green wavelengths um, can also come up so it's kind of closer to a daylight type of light obviously the plants have grown um, accustomed to daylight but green wavelength that's been shown is actually maybe slightly more useful at penetrating leaf canopies um, and orchids obviously grow under leaf canopies so maybe green wavelength lights are uh, valuable for orchids I'm not sure there's not been too much studies but blue and red are the main wavelengths that we look for in plant lights and Gemma have optimized full spectrum LEDs for these so I really like Gemma products at the moment I've got two uh, Gemma LED chip on board grow lights in my highlight section. I've got another one uh, in like a medium light setup and then I've got one of their high powered plant lights in uh, my orchid wardrobe. These I've um, purchased myself but Gemma have provided a discount code which I've linked below in the description for you guys to use. Um, but these new LED lights are a really affordable option. I think they'll fit really well into like most standard home growers setups. So I'm really excited to unbox these and um, change them over and give them a, a review and a chance to kind of see how they do. So with that all said, let's get unboxing. Okay, so these are the full spectrum LED bulbs that I've been sent and oh he sent me six that's really sweet um he, so when he contacted me asking if I'd be interested in reviewing them he kind of asked how many I would like um and I kind of said like well how many can you give because I've got six tertial work lamps so as many as you give I will use I wasn't expecting them to actually send six though um because obviously you know it's quite a lot so they've got a lot of information on the packaging there I'm just getting this box out the way so we can have a better look one thing I will say is um, Andre, I think that's how you pronounce it and I'm really sorry if that's incorrect. He, I think, is the owner or heavily involved in uh, product development with Gemma or customer service or all of the above. Um, it's him that I tend to speak to and he's extremely helpful. So I've been sat on a Saturday morning in my grow room trying to work out how to link up these uh, Cobb modular grow lights and I sent an email like, does this socket go in here? Like, I don't know. I don't want to force it. Doesn't seem to go easily. Do I need to buy an adapter? And he was like, no, no, that, that, that fits in there. You know, just standard daisy chain them by placing the plug of one into the back of the other. Um, I can send you a diagram if you need. And this is on like a Saturday morning with me just being a bit of a... Um, 
bit slow obviously and not thinking things through so he's very helpful so these are full spectrum leds specifically developed for plant growth and Gemma really emphasized quality of products you get kind of a more um customized kind of high quality feel to their products i feel than like the mass produced um leds so they kind of develop it specifically with plants in mind they are based in sweden i believe where there obviously is uh, during winter a severe lack of natural light uk similar story less of an extreme than sweden i feel um so these another point i wanted to make as to why i wanted to replace my phalaenopsis setup bulbs is at the moment they're 15 watt leds and these are only 9 watt leds from what i remember so it's a 9 watt led 750 lux 360 lumen both at one meter color temp 5500 kelvin so that's quite good um, the spectrum is red green blue plus white plus near infrared so it's a full spectrum led and it gives you uh, energy details there sorry if that's not focusing very well the beam angle and it doesn't have the par values on here but if you pop onto their website it gives you a par reading at i think 10 10 or 30 centimeters which you can kind of extrapolate i'll pop it up on screen if i can find it um but you can extrapolate to the distance that you want to be going at so it says we recommend using a timer for this product so usually i kind of do a 12 hour photo period as standard you can reduce that slightly but 12 hours is kind of optimal for growth these are the options you can get obviously so you can fit to whatever fitting you're using at the moment and you can also buy those clip-on um socket things i can't think of the word but you can buy clip-on bulb holders that will plug in so you can just buy one of those instead of a work lamp if you want so I'm going to pop these in and we'll have a look and we can compare my current setup to what these look like. Just going to show you around the grow room. This is the top shelf Phalaenopsis setup before I've put in the new bulbs. So this is my old setup. I've got several top shelves that have Phalaenopsis growing on that I'm going to be testing out the new bulbs on. And this is the result after I've put the new Gemma LED grow lights in so they give off a really nice cool clear light that's really easy to actually film in it's not causing any flickering which I sometimes get with the other grow lights so so far I'm very impressed what I would say is they do visually look maybe slightly dimmer than the other 1500 lumen bulbs that I had in but this can be explained by the fact that they don't have that wasted light in them they've literally just got the essential wavelengths that the plant needs plus a few other wavelengths in there to kind of even out the light and make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing but there's no loads of wasted green light that there's probably going to be with my other bulbs and you can see that really clearly I think I think you can see a really nice cool light being emitted and time will tell how the plants respond to this and obviously I'll report back but so far I'm really pleased and I'm also really pleased with how the plants look under them and the fact that I can still film under them without getting like a pinkish glare. Next, I'm just going to show you my Mastervalia and Restrepia Cool Growers Corner, which I also use an LED bulb for to light. I'm going to replace that with the Gemma LED bulb and see how they respond. You can see that the quality of the light definitely looks quite drastically different. Hopefully the plants will respond well to these and I will report back and keep you updated on these. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope that this video has been useful. I always find grow light videos useful. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a like or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates and I will see you guys later. Bye!